Okay, so I'll be creating a device uh, PPTs and we'll be learning what are the topics that uh, that are need for uh, application packaging. This covers uh, basic uh, packaging and also like how do you troubleshoot your applications? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so are you currently working or uh, tell me about you? Yeah, I am currently working in uh, MNC. Okay, I'll take a corporate trainings actually, not uh, individual uh, individual trainings. Also, I'll take, but uh, for a batch, a group of batch, like five to ten members. If, if there are, then I'll be taking a trainings. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what is your experience? I mean, what is the maximum experience, overall experience? How much you have in terms of application packaging? In terms of application packaging, I have eight uh, years experience. I have started as a network engineer. After that, I moved on to application packaging. Okay. And currently, I'm working on different technologies like cloud, uh, Intune, Azure. Okay. So, okay. so is this the only thing that you train or you train on other platforms as well? Only for application packaging, you train or do you have other training as well? I will train on Azure also, cloud, Intune. Okay. Got it, got it. Yeah, Azure platform and Intune also I'll uh, train application packaging, ACCM, okay. Intune, Azure. Okay. Okay. So these are all the technology that I'm training currently. Okay, and this is a device PPTs that I will be training uh, because uh, the batch includes the freshers and also experienced. We need to cover all the topics. Okay. I cannot skip, uh, skip the basic topics. So uh, the device PPTs covers like what is the application packaging, what is the standalone application, what is the packaging process, what is the packaging environment. Okay. So these are just basics. Then we we'll learn about. Uh, Okay, so we'll be covering all the topics that are related to tables within uh, MSI. Like uh, if you want to delete something, we can handle through tables. And if you want to add something, you can add through tables. All those PPTs are covered, like uh, custom actions. So if you see the full course, I think maybe uh, Amit had shared you all the full course. So this is the full course topics. Okay. So as we'll be having a fresher and experienced, I have to cover all the topics. So that's why we have designed the course like this. Okay. okay. So what are the registry hives? If it comes to registry hive, where is the logs registry? Where is the uh, shared DLL registry? So we'll be covering all the interview questions for a basic uh, packager. Okay. What they will be asking. Application repackaging requirement. So if you are self-healing application, where is the MSI get stored? What is the MSI execution process? Where are the MSI internals? So if you want to troubleshoot something, where you will be troubleshooting? What, what are the troubleshooting tools that we are going to use? So all those technologies we will cover in this course, okay? So. On the third day, we'll cover uh, repackaging and I'll show you guys how to prepare your own labs using virtual box like this. Okay, so you have to prepare your snapshots. I think all of you can see my screen, right? Yes. So this is how I'll be showing you how to create and I'll share you the packaging uh, softwares that are required. Okay. So I'll be in this course as part of this course, a single course, it is covered only MSI packaging. If you want API and MSI also, these are the different courses. Okay. So API is a different course, MSIX is a different course. So this is a 
just MSI packaging course that uh, I'm explaining now. So we'll see how to convert MSI to MSTs, how many transforms are there, what is the basic SLAs that uh, projects follow, what are the post install so, customers? Are, sorry for the interruption, are we using uh, install shield or any yes, other admin? No, no, install shield only. Generally, basically, most of the 90% of the companies are using install shield yes. itself. So I'm going to cover only install shield. Okay, thank you. So and we'll be seeing uh, how to find out your post uh, install customizations. How do you add them to your MSIs and MSTs? So suppressing updates, startup tips. What are the best practices in terms of uh, post install customizations? Okay, and how do you add licenses? And what are the tools that you can use to find out post install customizations? So that we will see as part of these sessions. Okay, and. MSI architecture, basic uh, properties, what is a GUID and what are the tables, what is self-heal, what is rollback, what is shared DLL concept and all the MSI concepts that are involved. Backend, actually these are used for interviews, actually interview questions they will ask mostly on the MSI internals. So we'll cover on those topics and we'll see how to create a upgrade, small and minor major upgrades. How do you add launch conditions? How can you use your launch conditions to check your prerequisites? And how to add nested MSIs? And what is active setup run, run once, and DLL registrations? And MSI tables and component rules. Coming to MSI tables, you will uh, see all the component tables, uh, component uh, rules, okay? MSI tables, some of the important MSI tables and component rules, and MSI assembly table prog IDs, class IDs, all those things will come under MSI tables. What are the install shield best practice uh, and also packaging best standards in terms of uh, current industry best standards, okay? What are the custom actions and how do you add those custom actions? EXE custom actions, VB script custom actions, PowerShell custom actions, skill process, so all the points related to custom actions, like how to handle driver applications, how to handle EXEs, calling uh, EXE inside your MSI through custom action, call, uh, killing a process through custom action, adding services to your MSI, adding firewalls and certificates and permissions to your MSIs, okay? So how do you do that with the MSI? And how do you, mitigate the issues. How, how can you analyze a log? Suppose some error is there in your log. How do you analyze your logs? And what are the ICE validations? How, how do you resolve your ICE errors in your MSIs? And silent switches coming to the... Currently, actually, in, uh, in most of the projects, it's not mandatory that you should use only MSI technology. You can use a silent installation also whether it is a PSADT or whatever the tool that you are using, you can use silent switches. So we'll see how to find out the silent switches and what are the basic uh, commands that you can use to find a silent switch. So how do you handle a add-on or plugin or extension? So nowadays there are no plugins because it's an edge, right? So it's all extensions. So we'll see extension packages, how do you handle and how do you add, add in means like word per point you'll be having add-ins so how do you handle those add-in packages and the tools like arca how do you use arca and vb uh, badge partial scripting examples some examples and we'll see practice labs okay so everything will be with practical one whenever i cover some topics I'll give you practical questions. You have to complete those practicals, okay? To best understand whatever you have learned, okay? If you practice, then only you will understand the topic better. So after every two, three sessions, I'll be giving you one MSI and I'll ask you guys to do this practical and upload it to Google Drive, okay? So that I can verify whether you have done properly or not. So this is the topics that I am going to cover as part of the MSI prepackage. Okay.
will you cover any basic app we because they that also in uh, interview they are asking yeah app is a different course actually we take it i take it app for a uh, 15 days course and this is a oh. one month course one and a half hour a daily okay uh, one month course one to 115 minutes and uh, this is again a 15 days course okay in app we generally if you are going with a five to six year experience they'll ask you some uh, scenario based questions how do mm. you troubleshoot yeah how do you troubleshoot your uh, application where are the files in the app packages suppose i want to run uh, multiple uh, add in applications and how can you add so the scenario based questions they will ask you okay because i know that i am i will be taking interviews so it is quite a good experience then the questions that i am going to ask you is a scenario based questions i won't ask you basic questions so scenario based questions if i cover the basics you won't get it i can cover one day what is app v and what are the uh, app v 4.6 and app v 5.1 it's a basic like how i i'll show you how to create a package in one hour what i can okay. do is i can just show you uh, the basics and how to create a app package but to learn internals you have to go through the session okay sure yeah so monday to so how will be when will be the classes and uh, what days if it's a weekend batch generally i'll take it on only weekends 3 3 hours a day so saturday and sunday if it is a daily hours <laughs> then i'll be taking in the morning session okay 10 to 12 like that <laughs> i'm sorry uh, what time morning timings 10 to 12 i'll be free okay okay so because you should go to office right so that is yeah yeah that's that's the reason 10 to 12 my shift starts at 2 o'clock okay so that is okay. the reason 10 to 12 i'll be taking it or else weekends also 5 3 hours so we get our 3 3 hours a day so will you cover the ccm part because yeah, most of the interview are asking the Yeah, I know that SSM generally we ask where you see your logs. Okay. Logs, yes. So how do you identify whether your application is working or not? Or suppose whether the content is downloaded, which log you have seen, whether the program yes. got executed, which is what is the log that you are going to check? Where is the log repository for SSM? And if I want to add dependencies, where you will be adding a dependency? but i am not covering that sccm course here i can share you one document you can go through that okay because sccm lab i don't have to prepare that lab it takes time i have to install the sccm and i have to cover but we you can go through the internet okay so there is a how to trick how to add an application with sccm how to add a, a package with sccm there is a detailed documentation actually you can go through it okay yeah but uh, logs also you can check what are the logs sccm logs that we need to test so basic sure. questions so you can go through these documentations you can you will be able to answer got you. okay so this is how i'll be explaining throughout the session everything will be practical and uh, there is a day wise ppts so we are going to cover those day wise ppts uh, like uh, some ppts will take two to three days like that so but uh, details internals basically msi packaging and msi internals we are going to cover as part of the msi uh, repackaging course okay okay any more questions so will you cover the basic powershell because yes uh, powershell i'll show you powershell scripts actually you don't need to write any even though you are in a application packaging job you don't need to write any powershell scripts right you can search in the internet and you can um, modify according to your need so i'll be showing some basic uh, commands powershell commands generally we need to learn a get child item and for each loop where object so some 
basic commands, if you understand them, that is fine. Whether VB or Badge or PowerShell, anything, mm -hmm. we, we should be able to understand the script. Till that, if it is there, it will be fine. Okay. Yeah, you don't need a complete uh, scratching program, right? Because here we are not programmers. We just need to understand the script that we have downloaded from the internet. Many, many interviews they are having the PowerShell right now. Yeah, of course, you, you, you said you are... PowerShell deployment, maybe they will be asking you PowerShell deployment toolkit, okay? So there yeah. is a PowerShell deployment toolkit which is used to deploy applications. The, that is not related to PowerShell scripting, okay? But if it is a PowerShell deployment toolkit, they will ask you some basic, uh, what is a install command, what is a process set up process command and if i want to populate a program what is the command if i want to restart a program what is the command so maybe they would be asking you partial deployment toolkit that is a different again that's a one week course okay so where you will be seeing a, a powershell deployment toolkit but coming to the powershell scripting it is just a powershell uh, uh, basic commands that you can learn okay okay I'll show you that PowerShell basic commands, what are the basic commands that are required for a packaging, okay? Not, not the complete scripting, okay? VB or batch or PowerShell, whatever it is, related to uh, packaging, what are the scripts that you will be using? Okay. So those will be covering with uh, this packaging course. Good. Any more questions? I think you already would have received this uh, full course uh, uh, tech, PP, uh, text file. So go yes. through the course and uh, uh, inform to Amit whatever is your decision and uh, he will come back to me, okay? So if anybody else is joining into the batch, then now uh, we'll see. Okay. Sure. 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 So. Okay. Yeah, are you comfortable with the timings, ten to twelve? Yes, of course. I'm. I'm free now. Actually, last February I got. They relieved me. Fired me actually due to frustration, mm -hmm. and I'm not able to uh, work up to their level actually. So okay. they've been asking me. Uh, Which company for was? The, I was working for Dix International, uh, the US project for okay, a TC okay. rule. Okay, okay. So that's my situation actually. So I was not able to uh, meet their expectations. So they were asking mm -hmm. to change the path, uh, environmental variables, uh, all those, mm -hmm. create a logs, new package, the loose files to a package. Yeah, yeah. those are not so covered far. over here actually. Have you undergone through training and uh, got into the job or you didn't go through any training? Actually, one of my friend was uh, working in application packaging. So he also do some basic work only, which okay. like repackaging and the uh, uh, basic MSI to MST. So uh -huh. with that, uh, only I cleared the interview. Uh -huh. So after that, uh, the, uh, they have been expecting a lot. So which I yeah, know. It depends on our luck, actually. Some people get into a light jobs, like where yes, there is exactly. not much effort is required. Okay, yes. just start. Many of the information is not available in YouTube also. So, yeah, app packaging actually it is not available. But SSEM and PSADT, you can uh, easily get into YouTube. Okay. No, the, the MSI advanced level, the merge yeah. module, all those are not available, actually. MSI advanced level, those are not available, but SCCM, how to uh, incorporate an application into SCCM, how to okay. uh, use PSADT to deploy, so those are available. MSI internals, so they are not available in the YouTube, but uh, okay. you can check it out, SCCM and PSADT, PowerShell. So it's like uh, three months, I was, uh, I went like uh, 10 to 15 interviews, mm -hmm. so... All that I was not able to crack actually, so that's the reason I I want to join the course desperately. 
so okay, basic okay. level i am able to like what they are saying is like you only know the basic level so but this is not for freshers or the okay. this is you have more than 4 or 5 years experience so mm-hmm. you have to work so so this is my uh, condition actually so so okay. that's the reason what are the questions they are asking like uh, some questions you have noted so that i can see whether i yes, am the, uh, the active setup uh, merge module ic mm-hmm. errors and mm-hmm. some also they also should like uh, some uh, scenario wise questions i have mm-hmm. noted few questions which i don't uh, know right now now okay those are covered yeah. here okay active setup run run once so reboot pending operation suppose i want to run something after reboot then how do you so also the custom action mostly they are go for a custom actions yeah yeah driver installed applications add in applications okay okay yeah i know that because generally basic uh, questions we won't ask for our experienced people right yes exactly so i also have to develop my knowledge right so uh, i cannot mm-hmm. simply blame them because they need they do have some uh, expectations which i have to meet the in a corporate life right so yes, yes. so i was asking them it's the same a trainer who can teach me very well who has a practical knowledge so that the reason he, he said me to wait and he said uh, when a right person comes i will uh, tell you so hope uh, i just completely believe you actually So I have a confidence. So people will give me a good training. Now, yeah, so I am ready to work. But, actually, yeah, so. but I can. Uh, I am waiting for the batch. Okay, I told you, Amit, that I will not be taking to individual person. So because uh, my time won't permit. Okay. So. Okay. I have to wait. Uh, you have to wait for the batch. Till then, you can go through SSM on PowerShell uh, PS ADT tool. You can download actually. so uh, if you go to that tool there is a help document okay okay so there is a ps.help.ps1 will be there just open okay. that with powershell and execute it so there you will see all the commands okay okay and you can go through that command and go through the help you will be able sure. to learn ps edit with that download sure. ps edit tool and go through that and uh, go through ssem documentation uh, in the youtube and see how do you add an application with ssem how do you add a package with app- application okay what are the detection logics so all these things you can just go through uh, in the internet if more people join then i think amit will inform you okay, okay if you start at the earliest it will be helpful for me so yeah, much situations are like that's true but i cannot take for a one person that's my problem exactly. right yeah but meanwhile you can go through i am giving you suggestions right so first yes, learn yes. ps edit and sscm through youtube through youtube you can find uh, sscm actually documentation mm-hmm. will be there for sscm okay application how to add an application into sscm how to add a package into sscm okay. so these are the two things that you have to learn in ssem and the logs so note down what log is for what where is the content so what is the log location all these things you can go through ssem okay and uh, when you come to ps edit as i told you download the tool and run the help.ps1 it will give you the command list go through that command list that is enough for our interviews okay 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 so uh, regarding sscm and ps edit those these two are enough for you coming to msi internals you need to have a experience okay that uh, we'll see okay sure. i'll inform to amit so sure yeah. yeah amit okay so we'll end up the course now kamish then i will speak to amit okay. later okay he'll come back thank you so much sir sure. sir thank you Yeah. Thank you for your time. Sure. Good luck for your job. Yes, ma'am.
Hello? 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 